Okay, so let me make some tags first. Okay, uh, before doing that, we can just uh, make a logic first. Okay, so I will be using this norm instruction here, and then here we will be using a scale function, right? So actually, the value uh, will be from 0 to uh, sorry, 4 to 20 milliampere. Okay, so that will be converted to 0 to 27648. Okay, so accordingly, it will be scaling itself, right? So here, what we'll do is we'll be having this norm instruction which will be normalizing that value, and then it will be scaled as per the physical parameter. That's why we have taken both the instructions in here. Okay. So now let us observe what is going to happen. So let me make some tags first. Okay. So the first input will be we can draw we can put it as input corresponding to 24 milliampere, right? Yeah, we can put it as 4 million pairs, okay. And here what we'll do is I'll be just changing it to word, okay. So basically we can take it as real also. So let us take it as real itself, okay. And I'll be giving it as md0, okay. And similarly here what we'll do is I'll be putting it as input. I'll copy this one. And paste it here and I'll just change it to 20 right underscore 20 okay and then what we'll do is this is what we are having from 0 to uh, 20 milliampere of current so uh, this is corresponding to 0 and 27648 okay now these addresses will be using here okay so I'll be giving it as uh, MD0 okay so yeah md0 and this will be md4 okay now the value here this value will be the actual analog value which is coming from the transmitter okay so we'll be connecting it to some address right so that address we even we need to check okay so here if you observe we are having this cpu configuration we can click on this one this cpu and observe the properties here so if you are able to observe this is our tax right in io tax so uh, this is our iw64 and iw66 so these are the basically analog input type okay so the data type here is in the form of word okay so the here uh, so here what we'll do is i'll take this input okay iw64 so it will be collecting 4 to 20 million pairs of current okay so i'll be using this address in this logic okay so here what we'll do is iw64 okay so this will be the analog input tag and i'll convert this is not accepting this one so i'll make it double integer okay and here what we'll do is I'll be changing the tag name here, okay? So I'll change the tag name, okay? He, not this one. This will be the tag name, right? So I'll be changing it to raw signal, okay? This is our raw signal, which will be in the form of 4 to 20 milliampere, and accordingly. Uh, this will be scaled okay so now here what we'll do is i'll be getting a normalized output okay so this normalized output will be here we'll be getting the normalized output okay so this will be some having some address that is md suppose 8 right okay so I'll be changing the tag name here also that will be will be having the address uh, name as normalized normalized signal okay so this is our raw signal and this is our normalized signal okay 
and this normalized signal will be the input for this scale function right so what we will do is I will be giving it as a scale function normalize a scale function okay now here uh, this is our scaling right so we need the scaling in between 4 so uh, basically a 15 to 85 right so 15 this will be the 15 value and this will be the 85 value okay and we'll be giving the data type here also as real okay so i'll be converting it into real okay and then he'll, here we'll be getting the actual value okay so here what we'll be getting is actual value okay so actual level we can say okay this will be the actual value which, which we'll be getting okay now let me download this one actual level so it will be some address i forgot to put the address here it will be mw12 and we'll be taking some address as uh, actual level right okay in this way right so now let me download this one okay after downloading, I will be clicking on the online mode. Okay. So, now we will be, we'll be using this slider here. Okay. So, here we are having this slider, right? So, we will be sliding it. And this is our minimum 0. And this is 27648, the maximum value. We will be having this slider at the bottom. So, we will be clicking on this address, right? So, which one is the raw signal? This is the raw signal. Now we will be changing the signal, uh, value of raw signal and here we are able to observe that the value is changing. So when it is 0, that means when 4 milliampere is the current, so we are getting it as 15, right? Now I am increasing the current. So suppose we are increasing the current and correspondingly we are able to observe that this value is changing accordingly, okay? So when the value is 20 milliampere, accordingly we will be getting the output as 85, okay? So this is how we are using this scale and the normx function inside TIA portal. Okay, so remaining things we will be discussing in the next lecture.